this is Olivia and welcome to Finance with Ease with Next Advisor in partnership with Time where we talk about all things adulthood and tips and tricks to navigate life with ease. Today I'm decorating my front patio to make it fall inspired but the thing is I need to minimize my cost to stay in budget which actually leads me into my first tip. Utilize cash back when shopping online and so I really want to decorate my front patio since I just moved into my new home six months ago and in this world now we are in a digital space where you kind of need to use a lot of these platforms to get the best bang for your buck because we're, we don't have coupons coming in our in our mailboxes it's more so of using platforms such as honey i use honey to find my patio set that i have been eyeing for weeks now many sellers on amazon are drop shippers so what i like about the honey platform is that it finds the best price for you on all of the websites in the internet so you can get the best bang for your buck so definitely use honey to help navigate the best price for you as you shop online tip number two diy is your best friend i know you want it done already but if you want to save your money try to find one or two projects in each room that you have that you can diy because anything that you can diy will automatically cut costs just because you're not paying a middleman to put the things together so here i have my diy garland that i absolutely love and you don't need any tools at all. All you need to do is just get this cute garland that I got for a very low price at Hobby Lobby, which by the way, pro tip, if you are going to be shopping at a lot of these craft stores like Hobby Lobby or Michaels, they have lifetime coupons, such as 40% off or 20% off, where whatever day it is of the week, they always have those coupons for you. So don't go to those stores without a coupon, which retails for about $9. So I'm so excited that I found this and I just wrap it around the wreath that I got at Walmart for only $5. And so in total, this project was $14. And when you look online, wreaths, can retail from 25 to 50 dollars so definitely take advantage of diy projects okay tip number three utilize your neighbors hey what i mean by that is utilize offer up facebook marketplace get a lot of your stuff from people around you a lot of people do have similar styles similar things they're shopping at the stores in the same area as you some people buy excess amount of things and some people have vintage antique stuff that maybe you were looking for and it's at a cheaper price i got this wicker bookshelf for example for only a hundred dollars and it is amazing i even got my coaster from uh, offer up for only 10 bucks and a lot of times those retail for about 25 to 40 dollars especially marble coasters so definitely definitely utilize your neighborhood because they have so many so many deals and bargain y'all bargain and my last tip take your time i know that you want to get it done i know you want to get it done trust me i too <laughs> I've been here for six months and the only room that I have successfully put together was the front patio. <laughs> Every other room is like, it's been touched. Like this room, for example, it's been touched, but I don't have all my details. So what I would say is just take your time, whether you want to do that approach where you touch every room, but you don't finish it, or you want to complete one room at a time, whatever works for you. Just make sure that if you are doing any of your projects for your home, make sure you have a savings for it put every check that you have put a little bit in that savings for you to decorate the house or maybe before you buy a home have a decoration budget so when you buy the home you're ready to use all your money to fill up the space so it's up to you and how you want to go about it but those are definitely my, my financial ways to kind of make sure that your budget stays intact and you get the things you want i hope you enjoy my video and i'll see you in the next one bye